Hello my grade sixes, how are you today? So we are continuing with our democracy and citizenship theme and today we're going to look at the coat of arms. So I am not talking about a coat that you wear in the winter time. We are going to have a look at the coat of arms. I'm just going to go to our textbook. It's page 165, right? And at the top it says national symbols, right? So in our new word block, remember you had to have written, or you're still finishing off, all your new words for the term three, all the ones with the orange colored stripe at the top of the pages. Okay, so a symbol is a picture or an item that stands for something else or that has a special meaning. And a motto is a phrase or sentence describing what an organization or country aims for or believes in. So we've got a motto for school, which is strive and achieve. When I was here from 1978, in the olden days, my ox wagon the motto was only strive but now it is strive and achieve so uh, let us see what it says about symbols countries usually have different symbols to show different things about the country the symbols also help the people feel that they belong together and should have pride in their country with the democratic government elected in 1994 South Africa needed new symbols to reflect the new South Africa. These symbols include the coat of arms, the national flag, and the national anthem. So we had a coat of arms, we had a flag, we had an anthem, and now with 1994 happening and democracy coming in, those three things were changed. All right, so if you look at the coat of arms, it says, Coat of arms is like a country's badge. It is usually used to stamp official documents such as birth certificates or identity documents. Sometimes it appears on buildings too or on South African coins. It shows that the items are officially South African. The different pictures making up the coat of arms each have a special meaning as shown in the diagram below. All right, now, what I've asked you to do at the beginning of the theme was to take one page or half a page and draw the coat of arms with the date and heading. All right. So be drawing this badge. And then I asked you not to label all around, but to make a key on a separate page. So instead of, we look here, the first picture in the badge or coat of arms is the rising sun. So instead of putting a label here, you would just put a number one in a circle or a square or highlighted. And then in your key, you would have number one, you would have a heading and underline it. You could do that in color, rising sun. And then after that, write what the rising sun symbolizes or represents. And in our case, the rising sun represents new beginning, and for the new nation, so the new South Africa. Okay, so you would have nine numbers on your key with nine headings and nine explanations. All right, let's go look at number two, the secretary bird. You see it over there under the sun. The nation can rise up and protect itself. Then the protea. The protea is our national flower. It's a unique South African flower, all right? It's from the Fane Bors family, which is originated in the Cape. And our nation is unique. So because the flower is unique, it represents that we are unique. We are not like any other country. Then under there, we have the spear and the knopkiri. Let's say knopkiri three times fast. Knopkiri, knopkiri, knopkiri. I just made it. These traditional weapons are lying down. So what does that represent? We can fight if we need to, but prefer 
peaceful solution. These are all lovely and idealistic and what we hope for in our country. Then underneath the Knopiri and the spear are some Khoisan people and this represents the first people of South Africa, showing that we respect our history and where our country started. Okay, then we have a shield. So they are actually on the shield. The shield represents we protect our country. Then on either side of the shield, you'll see the ears of wheat. What do they represent? We grow food and at the same time, we respect the earth that feeds us. Okay, then on the sides of the ears of wheat here and here, we have elephant tusks. We draw on our wisdom and strength. Okay, and then at the bottom, all right, in the language of the San, or what used to be known as the Bushmen, okay, over here in green is our country's motto, which in English is translated to diverse people unite, meaning all the different people in our nation or country come together and unite, we join together. Okay, so I don't want you to do this activity 12. Next, in the next lesson, we'll discuss the national flag. All right. So what you're going to do is to carry on and remember to finish at some point before the end of the theme, drawing your coat of arms. So date heading, South African coat of arms, Draw it beautifully, half to a full page for the drawing, numbered one to nine, and then a key on the separate page with a one to nine of nine headings and nine sentences or descriptions. And that's it for today. So that's the coat of arms. Love you guys. Keep well, keep safe, keep happy, wash your hands, wear your mask, over and out.